using token markers is easy, and both players and GMs can use them. Once in game, simply click on the token you want to add a marker to. Then, click on the icon that pops up below the token. It looks kind of like a button. This will open up all the default token markers that come free with any Roll20 account. You can scroll through the list and choose which marker you want for your circumstance. Maybe the net for being entangled, or the wing for flying. Once you decide on the marker, simply click on it and it will be added to the top of your token. Simple as that. You can add as many markers as you'd like to your token. Now, if you want to change where on the token your markers appear, go to your game settings by clicking the gear icon in the top right corner of the screen. Scroll down a little and you'll see marker position with a drop down box next to it. If you click the drop down box, you can choose for the markers to appear at the top, bottom, left, or right of the token. Now, if you want even more token markers than what comes in the default pack, you can either buy a token pack from the Roll20 Marketplace or create your own markers and upload them yourself. You can search and browse through just token marker sets in the Marketplace by clicking on the filter button at the right of the page. It has an icon with three sliders on it. In the filters page, click on token markers and select the checkbox next to all token markers. Finally, click the pink search button at the bottom. Once you find a pack you like and you've purchased it, a purple button will appear that says create a game. If you don't already have a game created, clicking this will take you straight to a new game to add your new set to. If you already have a game though and want to just add this pack to it, click on home at the top left of the screen. Then click on the name of the game you want to add your token marker pack to. Once you're on the game's details page, you'll see a gray box called token marker sets. To add your new set to your game, simply click on the plus button at the top right of the box. You can search for your set by typing or selecting it from the options after clicking on the search bar. Once you have your pack selected, click the blue update button and you're all set. Your token marker pack is in your game and ready to be used. You can just as easily remove a set from your game by clicking on the three dots next to the set name and select remove from this game. You can also create your own set with images you have bought or made yourself. To create a set, first hover over tools at the top of your home page and select token marker library from the dropdown. Now click create set, either at the bottom of the page or the pink button on the right. Go ahead and name your token set in the box and click the pink create set button. Now you have a blank set to add your images to. Click add images in the center or top right of the page. You can either drag and drop images into this box or click on choose a file to upload your own pictures. Once you have chosen all the pictures you want, click on the pink upload button on the right. Great! Once all your pictures are uploaded, you can see the markers and even rename them if you want. Once you're all set, click save at the bottom. You can edit any of these markers in your set by clicking on them. Once you do, you can select, copy, rename, or delete. And there you go, you made your own token marker set. You can add it to your game the same way you did a purchase set. Enjoy using your new token markers.